Right guys, today we're gonna to be doing a video discussing uh, the mass airflow sensor and the PCV system and how they are linked together and what problems they can cause. So, let's get into it. Right guys, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is a quick video. Uh, we've had a couple of guys um, in various forums and Facebook posts and all that type of jazz. Um, I've noticing some, some people posting up about random misfires, um, things that they can't really pick up or detect easily and everything seems to be running um, absolutely perfectly other than that and it's just a completely random misfire that they can't put down to either a broken coil or a blocked injector or anything like that at all. So. First of all, obviously, uh, vacuum leaks. That's going to be your biggest problem. And it's kind of what we're going to talk about today in this video. And obviously, vacuum leaks means uncalculated air. So in other words, the mass airflow sensor is not calculating the air that is entering the engine. And obviously, that is what's causing the misfire due to either too little or too much fuel in the system itself. Okay. Right. So... The issue that I'm see, or the issue that I'm, I think might be happening with some of these people over here, is an issue in relation to the air pipes, and that's because obviously you guys are doing a lot of swaps, and you don't always use the original air pipe, sometimes due to space constraints, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, but the PCV system and how that is involved is, you guys will notice that you'll have this pipe going from here to your PCV valve over there. Normally, it's shorter than this. Normally, it's got a piece of foam over it, etc. And I see a lot of the photos that you guys are leaving this in place. And that is absolutely fine because as you can see, it is going into the inlet manifold. So this is drawing air from the engine into the inlet manifold. It also explains why if you guys pull your cam covers off, this side is so dirty and this side is so clean. Okay, so that's the reason why that is dirty, that is clean. Air comes in there and then it gets sucked out there into the inlet manifold. Also explains why when you open up the inlet manifolds or take the throttle bodies off, you see a nice little puddle of oil in there. This is where that is coming from, from there. Okay, so this being connected is absolutely fine. The problem comes in is when the other side is not connected correctly. Okay, so as you can see here, in standard trim, you have the pipe that comes from there out your airbox, and it goes down and it goes into the vent here on the crank case over there, cam cover over there. Okay. Now then, what's super important about that is in the standard system, there's your mass airflow sensor. So the air comes in, it goes into this box. It can then pull air from there into the cam cover over there, run down into the crankcase and then up through there and get sucked over there. Okay, so some of you may already be seeing where the problem lies. If you just allow this pipe here to go to open air or atmosphere, all right, what you're effectively doing is you're letting in uncalculated air. All right, and if you let in uncalculated air, the ECU can't compensate or provide correct fueling for air that it doesn't know about, okay? And therefore, you can end up with that particular situation. And I am actually going to demonstrate it now for you because this is a very good example. You're actually going to see on the video how it changes the running of the engine just by disconnecting that pipe and letting that go to atmosphere and letting it suck in uncalculated air, Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera up so you can see it nicely. I'm going to get it on a stand and then I'm going to actually turn the car on. I'm going to start it with everything connected. I'm actually then going to lift it up and let it go there. And you're actually going to start to hear a random misfire for no reason. You're also going to hear it running a little bit differently. And then I'm going to put the pipe back on again. And then you're going to see that it is running absolutely perfectly. Okay, so bear with me a minute. Let me do that and we'll be back. Right, so as discussed, what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the ignition on. Uh, we're going to start the engine up, and then basically I'm going to remove this pipe, and you're going to listen to how the engine changes notes, and more importantly, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll actually have a random misfire every now and again. So, let's do that now. loud and clear uh, but yeah so basically 
hopefully you can see exactly what I'm talking about there. So the sheer fact that that is not being taking air from calculated air, so in other words, after the mass airflow sensor, can cause the engine to run really weird, can cause random misfires that are not down to either a broken coil, old spark plug, or a blocked injector. Because as you can see, as soon as I put that pipe back on again, she runs absolutely fine, completely smooth, no problems whatsoever. So again, that is just literally letting uncalculated air into the inlet manifold itself. All right. So what can you guys do? Number one, basically the gist is if you're running standard ECU, if you're running mass airflow sensor, you need to make sure that all air that is coming into the inlet manifold is calculated, okay? So that means making sure that you have no leaks, no leaks at the injector seals, no leaks on the gaskets on the inlet manifold, no leaks from little pipes like this that aren't blocked off if they're not being used on the top there as well. Um, and if you are going to then use the PCV system as it is intended to, you need to make sure that you connect both pipes correctly. All right, so there is no half and half. So in other words, if you are unable to get this pipe over here to take air from after the mass airflow sensor, then don't connect this one up, okay? So just make sure that that's the case. And if you want to run an oil catch can, it's absolutely fine, but you just need to keep into consideration that again, the same rules apply. If you are going to take a vacuum feed like this to your catch can and take both of these pipes to the catch can themselves, then you need to make sure that it's not vented to atmosphere, but that it's vented to a pipe that then is attached to your air pipe over here, okay? So hopefully that's been a great demonstration. Like I said, I've only done the video because um, I saw a customer at the moment who's um, in the same situation. He had to swap his air pipe around to come here instead of going that way. So obviously he's unable to connect that pipe over there. Um, and then I've had a couple of guys or seen a couple of guys on some of the Facebook posts complaining about random, you know, uh, unidentifiable misfires. They've checked everything. They've swapped coils around. They've done it. And because it's completely random misfire, obviously they're not detecting it. Uh, and it's not easy to diagnose. So I just thought I'd let you guys know so that you can see the difference between with everything connected correctly and what it's like when that one is open to atmosphere. So... Hope that's been helpful for you guys. Like I said, I do like you guys to ask questions that I can make these types of videos, uh, show you certain things that I've come across in my time of working with these for uh, God knows how long now. But yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. Um, like I said, there's many ways to skin, like I said, there's many ways to skin a cat. But basically what I'm trying to say is make sure you've got no air leaks. Make sure that if you have that pipe connected, that that pipe is also connected correctly as well. Don't have this one and not that one over there. Okay. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye.